because that's gonna you're gonna start losing customers. That's what this is what's gonna cause you to start losing customers. Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are having a lovely, wonderful, fantastic day. So you guys, today we're going to be doing a couple of BoxyCharm unboxings. Um, has it been a while since we've done a BoxyCharm unboxing? I don't know. It feels like it's been forever since I've done anything. And that's probably because it has been. In my last video that I posted, I mentioned that I've not been I've just, I've just, I've not been, I've not been, I've not been at like peak performance. I don't really know what my, my peak performance would look like. Don't know if I've ever reached it, but I have not been there. And, um, it's taken me a little bit to get back into the swing of things, but today we have another unboxing for you guys. So as always, because I can't just do one month of boxes because I have several, I have so many. I got us just, you know, a couple, just a few, just a little stack here, a little selection assortment of boxy charms that we're going to be going through today. Two of them are likely from like last month or something, but two of them are from this month. How exciting! <laughs> so this one I definitely think is from last month and then I think I made a mistake and mixed them up and now I don't know. They all say 403. They all say the same exact things. Why do they all say the same exact things on the back? I'm just gonna say that I think this one's from this month. We'll, we'll just, we're gonna roll with it. That's my intuition. It's like telling me that it's for some reason from August. So we're gonna go ahead and dive on into these. Um, I did leave my face pretty blank today with the exception of like a little under eye cover and some mascara because without it, I look like a, a sickly Victorian child. And I, st I still kind of do, but I figured if there's something in here that I just like have to must to on cue. There's Jimmy. That's it's a weed whacking day. I can tell. I know his lawn care equipment. I can. That's his weed whacker. Anyway, if there's something I feel just like really compelled to try on, that's really exciting to me. Um, I'll go ahead and try it on my face today. Before we even get into these boxes, I would love to tell you guys what today's sponsor, Helix Sleep. Like most people, sleep is very important to me, and whether it is a good long night's rest or a quick nap, I love sleeping, and I love sleeping on my Helix mattress. I've had my Helix mattress for over a year now, and it has improved my sleep so much. I used to wake up very, very stiff and sore, but since switching to Helix, I don't have that problem anymore. Helix Sleep makes premium mattresses and bedding that are customized to fit your needs and conveniently shipped right to your door. Helix knows that every single person is different and to ensure you get the best mattress for you, they made a sleep quiz to match your body type and sleep preferences to the perfect mattress. I personally am a side sleeper who likes a super soft cloud-like mattress and I share my mattress so the sleep quiz matched me with the Helix Sunset Luxe and I think it is the perfect choice. Like I said, I've had my Helix for over a year and I'm really loving the sleep that I get. I'm sleeping so comfortably on my Helix mattress. It's really soft but also supportive in all the right places. This mattress, however, is so comfortable. I don't wake up with like my shoulders and my hips just aching and super sore anymore and it is improving my overall day. I'm just getting a really good night's sleep and I'm waking up refreshed. With your Helix mattress, you will get a 100 night sleep trial and if you don't love it, they will pick it up for you and you'll get a full refund. But the best part about all of this is that Helix will deliver your mattress right to your door for free within the US and it comes rolled up inside of a box. It's super easy to set up. I set up my king size mattress all by myself. I haven't even taken like the outer plastic off yet, but it's already inflating on its own. You can hear it like popping and stuff. So if you would like to give Helix a try and get a good night's sleep, all you have to do is click the link below or go to helixsleep.com slash Alexandria for up to $200 off your Helix sleep mattress and two free pillows. Let's start off here with the older boxes. There will definitely be timestamps, like little chapter things you guys can skip through if you're just interested in seeing the August boxes, which this, this, this could be one of them. We're about to find out. Bird. Maybe if I could just like sneakily slide out the little card, will it tell me? I still have no idea. Oh dear, I'm gonna see if I can like match the cards, if that'll help. Jeez. Okay, this is why I should never go with my intuition. <laughs> it's very often wrong. All right, so we have our first box here. This is one of the base boxes. We got some little like pink palm trees. Ooh, okay, interesting. First thing I'm gonna pull out um, is a repeat product from a different subscription box. Is it like an Ipsy or something? I'm kind of getting a little frustrated that they're putting so many similar products in Ipsy as they are BoxyCharm. I know that they're the same company, but they're, they're two different boxes. People like me purchase both Ipsy and BoxyCharm. There are many people that purchase both of them. Are there less people that purchase like every iteration of everything they've ever come out with, sometimes in multiples? Probably. But I'm fairly certain that we just received this same exact product in an Ipsy. Can, can we stop maybe with that? Because that's gonna, you're gonna start losing customers. That's what, this is what's gonna cause you to start losing customers. Anywho, uh, this is the Juice Beauty Stem Cellular Anti-Wrinkle Overnight Stuff, which actually I've seen several comments of people saying this is really good. So I mean, it's not like the worst thing ever to have two of them, but still. It's not 
and it's exciting to have like multiples between like boxes. Following that, we have a little set of brushes here. These are from Eloise. Not quite sure if we have ever received brushes from this brand before. They're supposed to be a luxury brush set. They have kind of like a gym, crystally looking handle to them, and it's just a little set of four brushes. I think that's Eloise. The only reference I have for Eloise at all whatsoever is that little girl that lives in a hotel. Uh, next up here, we have something from Earth Harbor. This is the Nymph Nectar. That's a fun little name. It's a super fruit radiance balm. That sounds kind of fun. I typically see more like serum -y type things from Earth Harbor. Pretty much everything we see from them comes in like a little glass bottle with like a squeezy nub dropper tippy thing. So um, it's nice to see something a bit different. Oh, it's orange. I don't, I was anticipating kind of like an aqua-y blue. Something about the word nymph made me just associate it with aqua-y blue. But it's actually like a super, super pale kind of peachy color. This has sea fruit in it. I don't know what a sea fruit is. Oh, isn't there something like a, a sea grape? They're like these little like crunchy things that people eat on ASMR videos. I like these little sea wee balls on like some stems and they're really crunchy. From the loving arms of island nymphs comes the sweetest and richest nectar. <laughs> Sounds like a romance book description. Oh okay so it's just a moisturizer. It, it looks really interesting though. I'm not quite sure if it's supposed to look this way. I don't know if you guys will get a uh, real good view of that texture in there. It looks almost like it's been crystallized or something. How old are these boxes? I don't think they're that old, but it does look like something's happened here. Like, uh, maybe this is how it's supposed to look, but it, it looks a little bit off. I'm not gonna lie. Following that, we have something from the Beauty Crop. We got a jewel-ended little stick in ginger and Prosecco. I'm assuming this is some type of, like, a liquid eyeshadow. Where do I cut? I'm just gonna use our strength. It's just brute strength. No? So, yeah, we have a little jewel-ended... A gone static eyeshadow stick here. This actually looks really pretty. I'm interested in this matte shade. I feel like when you see a lot of um, liquid eyeshadows, they're typically shimmery like this one. But that kind of like taupey matte looks really nice. Do you have to like take literally everything off of this to get to the product? Ooh. Ooh, okay. You know what? I think that's actually a really beautiful duo. This one over here is a little less taupey than I was expecting. There's not as much of like a purpley undertone. It's just kind of like a really nice tan color. And this one has like a tint of copper to it. Like, this looks really pretty together. And then the matte shade does blend out pretty nicely. Hopefully this stays put. I'll let it dry down on my hands so you can kind of see, like, how it'll wear, but I think that's super pretty. And then finally, the last thing in here is from Phase Zero. Uh, this is the Necessities eyeshadow palette. It has very, like, sleek, minimal plastic packaging. It does feel a little bit on, like, the lightweight, kind of cheaper side, though, but, uh, yeah. Necessities. This does look like a very just basic palette of colors, uh, you know, stuff that might be necessary for putting together an eyeshadow look. You know, there's some nice browns in there. I can always go for a nice brown. A lot of them are a little bit on the peachy side. It does look like we have a couple of mattes though and a couple of shimmers. Overall, this looks like a very just basic eyeshadow palette. I'm actually more excited by the liquid eyeshadows than I am like the full eyeshadow palette, which typically doesn't happen. So uh, yeah, interesting. I could go ahead and do this now, but I feel like it might look a little odd if I have my like all of my eyes done and then, you know, the, the, all, the so many of the ones that I have all of the eyes uh, and then like the rest of my face is just kind of bare so I might wait to the end and try this on. Oh how fancy orange foam. I don't think we've seen orange foam before. Do you guys know that I keep all this stuff? Like I keep all this packaging in case I ever sell anything online because sometimes I'll sell things on like Poshmark. My store eventually will have like an Etsy and stuff so I have a stack of packaging and foam and wrap and like little squiggly bits that come out of these boxes that I reuse if I ever have to ship anything. Oh how exciting more orange foam. Next up here we have the BoxyCharm Premium from whatever month it is that this boxes are from. Oh, prices! Okay, maybe I'm okay with getting two of those Juice Beauty things. Okay, so the Phase Zero makeup palette was 40 bucks, and I personally think, like, for, for such a basic makeup palette that didn't seem, like, potentially the most high quality, I think 40 bucks is way too expensive. But the Juice Beauty Stem Cellular thing that I got, like, two of, one from Ipsy, one from BoxyCharm, is 72 bucks, so, yeah. hey. Nice. Like $140 worth of juice. Then we have the Eloise brushes. Those were $22. The Earth Harbor Naturals Nymph stuff was $38. And then the Beauty Crop uh, Liquid Eyeshadow Duo is $18. Ooh, that's actually like really good. Is that the correct math? Yeah, I guess so. That's actually really good for a base box. The total value is $190. And I feel like a lot of the times the base box for Ipsy, not Ipsy, what are we talking about? Boxy Charm kind of hovers around like a 120-ish area 
area. So 190 is actually really, really nice. Wait, am I reading the wrong card? No, that's the right, that's the right one. Yeah, 190, nice. Let's go ahead and move on into the premium box here. So right on top, we have a palette. Oh, this is from Lunar Beauty. I'm really, I'm not sure if I own anything from Lunar Beauty. This is a uh, Manny MUA's brand, which I honestly, truly never really watched Manny's channel too much, um, but I have heard good things about the brand. And I will say like just the palette, the feels nice already in your hands. Like it's a nice weighty palette. It's got pretty little um, cherry blossoms on it. So yeah, it looks like a really cute palette. So I'm gonna get my orange foam out of there. Very excited about that. Ooh, that's actually really pretty. I wasn't expecting that. On the front, there's like a really pretty moon. I don't know, there's just something on this palette. It's a little different looking and uh, I, I kind of like it. Oh, okay, so the colors in here, I was expecting things to be a little bit more like pinky, but honestly, this is a bit more of like my kind of everyday look. Like, you know, the palette that we just saw, like the nude necessities one, this feels like that on just like more. Nice nude neutral mattes down here a beautiful row of shimmers. And then we do have some more pink shades here at the top. Well, we have like two pink shades, but anyway, it looks really nice. It looks really pretty. There's a really big mirror in it. And again, it just feels like nice in the hand. It feels like a nice palette. And they're just, it, it's cute. My heavens, how many of these can I have? Where are they all coming from? I, I swear, this has to be like the fourth time I have received this Rodeal glass primer within the past few months. Like it's just, it alone is becoming the new Wander Beauty. Like, like it's haunting me. It's everywhere. I know I have to have at least four other of these somewhere, somewhere around me within like this 10 foot radius. There's like four of these boxes. I'll show you guys what it looks like anyway. You know, it looks like that. It's just a little squeezy tube of primer. I don't know. Not a primer gal, but I'm gonna try to be because I do want to have like a really nice base for my wedding makeup that I'm gonna be doing myself. So maybe I'll give the gloss primer a try because I, I have so many of them. I definitely won't run out for the wedding. It's impossible, I think, to run out of five tubes of primer before, you know, like three months. All right, next up here, we have a tub of stuff. I like the color of this tub of stuff. It looks very red on camera, but it's like a nice, just like burnt red. Blood orange, she's so pretentious. Shut up, it's red. I don't know, I don't know, it's just a nice color. Uh, this is from Stone Street Soap House. It is the Geronimo Wholesome Body Cream. Um, that sounds, yeah, sounds good. It sounds uh, wholesome, I guess. <laughs> smells like lotion. <laughs> it, just, it smells like incredibly generic lotion. I'm sure it's not. I'm sure there's fantastic ingredients and stuff in here. Just the scent of it is just fairly basic. It says this is the most fun, most wholesome, and most devilishly handsome body care company in the land. Made in England. Oh, they're English. I wonder if they are very handsome. Might have to do some googling. I mean, just a quick google search. Can't hurt anybody. Okay, you know, I could only find one picture of them on the google, and but that is a nice looking group of people. It really is. They, they do the very handsome, a lot of them. <sighs> All right, the next thing we have in here, I could tell immediately it was from Avant because they put too many letters on their Dagon packaging. It doesn't even look like words. It just looks like letters. It looks like I'm at the eye doctor and they're trying to like get you, tell me how much more bad my eyes have gotten. Like, how do you even read this? It looks like hair gel also. Does this not look like hair gel? This is the Coca Hydrolyzed Walnut Winter Green Leaf Extract Copper Glycerin Choco Peferol Povidineo Zinc Citric Manganese Diamethicone Pantheol. If you guys want to, you know, Google it if you're, if you're interested. I think the actual name of it is probably Blue Volcanic Stone Purifying and Antioxidizing Cleansing Gel, which I didn't know Blue Volcanic Stone was a thing. Where do you put it? Okay, probably your face. It is a cleanser, uh, so I'm assuming you cleanse your face with it. It doesn't really say, though. It just says, like, apply to damp skin, so I guess you could clean whatever you wanted to with it, you know, skin-wise. Following that, we have something here that I probably will not be able to use. We have a little shampoo and conditioner set. This is from Outre. Does that say by Weemi? <laughs> Weemi is a really funny name for a brand if it is. I'm not quite sure. On the font there, it just, it looks like it says Weemi. Use me. He's funnier though. I do think this is a CBD shampoo conditioner, which I have never tried before. And it does look like potentially that it is good for all hair types. It looks like they have like fine, medium, and thick hair. I don't know if they have like another very small, like almost unable to see unless you have like a microscope little circle up there. That is whatever is my cotton candy hair. And the very last thing in the box is from Ico London. This is the Black Magic Cocoa Edit Liquid Liner. And this is actually in the shade brown, which I guess that makes sense. Even though it says black magic, but then it says cocoa edit, so 
but I am glad it's brown. I actually use brown liner now more than I do black liner, so that's nice. Oh, okay, so this is a little bit different than a brown that I would typically use. It is kind of like a very rich, almost cocoa-looking uh, eyeliner. It has kind of like a red tone to it, whereas the browns that I typically use are a little bit more just like neutral toned. This one is quite red, but it didn't seep into the lines of my hands, and uh, it looks really nice and pigmented. Lovely. Okay, so that was everything in the premium box. Let me get you guys some prices. $110 for what? For the hair gel? Uh, I guess finding blue volcanic rocks is very difficult. Anyway, the Lunar Beauty Nude Prism Eyeshadow Palette is $48, which I think is a much more reasonable price for that palette than the $40 from the other palette, because this one seems really nice to me. Then we have the Rodeal Glass Primer, which is $39. The Stone Street Soap House uh, Body Cream is $32. The Avant Skincare Blue Hair Gel is $110. That shampoo and conditioner is $66. I can't, I, I can't really say much because the shampoo that I do use is like 30 bucks a bottle, but it's that way because of like my hair falls out of my head. <laughs> and I kind of, I try to do everything I can to keep it in there. This is just shampoo and conditioner. And the Ico liquid liner is 22 bucks. Let me get you guys some prices for that. I guess it's going to be very expensive since one of these products is over $100. $317. That's definitely a, a pretty decent value. One third of it, however, is just, um, in this little tube apparently. What does it even do? It's just a cleanser. Like, I don't understand. Okay, let's go ahead and move on into the boxes for this month. Um, I'm sorry that this is going to be a very long video because I've already been filming for such a long time. Uh, but let's go ahead here and pull out the card. It is from Dusk Till Dawn. The first thing we have in here is from Glow Recipe. This is the Avocado Melt Retinol Eye Cream. Ooh, that actually sounds pretty fun and exciting. Um, I don't think I've ever seen the combination of like retinol and avocado together. What a precious little bottle this is. That is so cute. I'm using this just because it's cute. Look at that. I love that. I like the little faceted green bottle. The color is adorable. Yep, this is getting added into like my skincare routine. That makes no sense. Not that too terribly much in there, but um, it's adorable, so it's fine. Following that, we have an item beauty item, which looks like something that we literally just received in another subscription box. I'm gonna assume Ipsy. I'm gonna, I'm just assuming Zooming. Stop it. Stop it. We don't need the same items between boxes. Like this is going to get, it's going to become an issue. It's going to become a problem. People are going to start dropping one or the other. This is the Item Beauty Boost Juice Lash Primer. One side's blue, one side's purple. And it's actually like that in real life, which I think is pretty cute that they're colored, that they're colored on the ends. But we literally, we just got this. And it also is somewhere like within arm's reach. I know it is, but I'm sure it's buried. Yeah, that's already far too much effort to find it. But yeah, so this is another product that we we literally just got. This. Following that from Alioupe, which I think is a very it's a very fun brand name. Um, we have a multi-use face stacker. Ooh, three cream shades to play. Okay, so I typically am not a cream product person, but I watched this video of like how to do the perfect base of makeup that's gonna like last all day. She said it'd be great for weddings. And as I was watching it, like the first thing she did, well actually she did a lot of stuff. There's many steps. But like one of the things that she did was use cream products first and then she like built powder on top of them. And I was like, I don't really have any cream products because I don't ever use them. But now, like this might work out. Like I have a whole stack of them. So we have a highlight, a blush, and a contour. So that's exciting. Sassy Pants. I guess that's the name of it. This is the Sassy Pants stack. Hopefully everything is in a shade that I can use. Okay, okay. Oh, it goes this way. Oh, I see. I see. Okay. <laughs> it looks like we have a very pinky highlight here on the top and a very pink blush. And then we have our contour shade here at the bottom, which is quite Quite warm. I don't know if these necessarily would be like the exact kind of shades that I'm looking for. Um, I still might have to just go buy the ones that she used because her face looks so perfect. Following that is something else that I also might need. We have a loose setting powder from Cab Cosmetics. So this is just a loose translucent setting powder. It honestly, it looks a little bit on the yellowy side to be fully translucent. Um, I'm sure, I'm sure it's fine though. So, um, 
powder. And then finally, the last thing in here is this gonna be from Ciate. Oh, Girlactic. Typically when I see this like kind of shiny uh, rose gold packaging, it's always something from Ciate, but this is a metallic eye sparkle from Girlactic. Oh, okay, so this is another really pretty uh, liquid shadow here. It looks honestly quite similar to what I've swatched on the back of my hand. These swatches are also holding up pretty well, which is exciting to me. I kind of hate to swatch this since it does look so similar to this. Because I know there's no way that I'm going to be able to use two liquid eyeshadows that are kind of a similar shade, like, you know, before they dry out and stuff. I mean, it just, it looks really pretty. It just looks so similar that I hate to swatch it and waste it for somebody else. So I'll go ahead and pass this along to somebody else, but um, it does look like a beautiful shade. All right, so real quickly, let's get some prices for this box of the Glow Recipe Avocado Adorable Little Jar of Eye Cream. It is $42. The Alley Oop Stack is $38. The Galactic Eyeshadow is $20. Then we have the Cab Cosmetics Loose Setting Powder is $30. And finally, the Item Beauty um, little, like, dual ended lash thing is 18. Okay, so that is still a pretty decent value, but definitely not as good as the last box. So the whole value for this box is $148, which again, not too bad, not too shabby. All right, you guys, let's go ahead and move on here to the final box that we have. I'm gonna assume this is the premium box. They used to come in those really big ones and now they're like smaller, I guess. Oh, okay, so we have something else from Item Beauty. This time it is something different, so that is nice. Uh, I like this packaging. It looks a little, um, Who's that brand? That fancy brand that puts their stuff in this and like fills it with gl glitter. This is the Item Beauty Lip Glaze and that actually sounds really interesting. I love like lip kind of products so let's go ahead and try this out. Lid glaze, lid, oh. It would be helpful if I could read better. Uh, so this is a hydrating jelly eyeshadow and suddenly my excitement has dwindled quite a bit. Um, I, mm, I just don't know how I feel about putting anything that is jelly-like on my eyelids. Like I've seen like runway models, high fashion runway models, they'll literally apply like gloss, like sticky clear lip gloss or petroleum jelly to their eyes to give them that like gloss look on their eyes but I couldn't I, I couldn't imagine having like a sticky eyelid mm -mm, no that's not something I'm prepared to be okay with and I don't know it just looks like kind of a coppery shade let me know if you guys have tried this is it just like sticky stuff on your eyelids that sounds gross okay the next thing we have here is also for your eyes this is the essential radiance nutrient C eye cream uh, something about this packaging it looks fancy it looks like it's gonna be kind of expensive this is from a cat Berkey. I don't know if I've ever heard of that before. Oh, the inside also looks like it's gonna be kind of expensive. Um, I mean, it looks like a really nice little bottle. It says use AM and PM as a part of your five-step regime. Mm-mm, no. Yeah, I, I might use like five, six, ten different products. I don't know, but I just kind of slap them all on around the same time. You know, there's not really any process to it. It's just like get it get it on my face and see if it does anything. Um, I mean, I can do that with this, but there's not gonna be a five-step regime. I can go ahead and tell you that. Wait, regimen, not regime. That's a very different thing. Okie dokie, the next thing we have here is from Mellow Way, and I don't I don't think I've ever seen this brand in a box before. <laughs> it looks like this. it's a mascara wand that can do like uh, helicopter moves. It says it has a patented flexible wand that bends up to 90 degrees in four directions. <gasps> Oh, I thought the entire thing was that orange color, but it like, it matches my orange foam. That's very exciting to me. Um, anyway, this is a very interesting looking mascara wand tube here. Um, this looks definitely like a highlighter that you would see at some type of office. Or like, you know, you would go to like a, a marketing event where they would pass out stuff with their name on it and be like, oh, here's our a highlighter with our business name on it. That's exactly what this looks like. And the camera is absolutely not picking up how neon this lid is. This is an insane color of orange, but the camera just it can't process it. That smells like spray paint. Listen, I've smelled like every single mascara that I've ever received in a subscription box and I don't know why I do it. This is the first one that has ever smelled like spray paint. Like it came straight out of an aerosol can. Why, 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 why do you want it to bend? I don't understand why we wanted it to bend. Typically, I feel like I want my mascara one to be fairly rigid so I can like really work it without it moving too much. Um, I just don't really know what the thought process is behind the uh, helicopter movement there. The next thing we have here 
is from Alpha, like Alpha with an extra H, Alpha. It's a balancing cleanser with aloe vera. It's to be a gentle, creamy lotion and to remove all like traces of makeup and stuff. So, you know, just a cleanser. Um, yeah, it's a cleanser. It seems, it seems like it could be nice. Following that, we have a little bubble wrap item here. This looks familiar to me. More force in that than I anticipated. Ooh, actually, no, this does not look familiar to me. Um, this is from Playa. I'm gonna, I'm gonna assume that's Playa and not Playa because you know this is like 2022 and not 15 years ago. Uh, but this is a Money Milk Leave-In Conditioner that is supposed to smooth frizz and soften strands. At first, I really liked it because I think I was mainly picking up on kind of like a creamy coconut scent. Up uh, there, there's like a little something extra like underneath it that I wasn't sure about. But no, it smells pretty good. It just smells like kind of just creamy, just like a creamy something. It's supposed to be ultra light yet deep conditioning, which is really nice because I definitely need something super super light for my very very fine thin hair so um yeah maybe maybe i'll actually give this dry especially formulated for chemically treated dry frizzy and environmentally damaged hair i have some of those things yeah and then finally the last thing we have in here is from ofra this is a signature palette in the shade symphony i feel like i haven't received an ofra product in a really long time so i'm interested in seeing what this palette looks like it's very pretty so it's a very mauvey palette um this looks like one of their highlighters it has that little like dungeons in it like their highlights do. Uh, this is a very, you know, nice color range here of mauves. I mean, it does look really pretty and uh, I do like Ofra shadows, or at least I think I do from what I remember. So um, nice. I think this is pretty cute. Alrighty, you guys, so that's everything in the premium box. Let me get you guys the prizes here. So we have the Ofra Cosmetic Signature Palette. That is $34. I knew it. I knew it. Something about that like box in the bottle. You can just tell when something's gonna be like expensive, probably too expensive. So the Cat Berkey Nutrient C Eye Cream is $90. The Mellow Way Your Way Mascara is $22. The Playa Leave-In Conditioner is $24. The Alpha 8, oh, it's probably just Alpha H. That makes more sense than like Alpha Balancing cleanser is $36 in the Item Beauty uh, Lid Glaze Hydrating Jelly Eyeshadow. I just can't, I just, I, could, I just can't, um, is $14. Which brings the total retail value for the premium box here to $220, which, yeah, that's, that's not a bad value. Again, a little bit less than the last month, which was like 300 and something. I'm saying that's last month. I, I don't actually know if it is or not. Uh, but overall, not a terrible value and not a terrible box. There's some interesting stuff in there. Maybe a little bit more skincare than I would like love to have in a box, but not too bad. There aren't like a ton of things that I really, really just like have to try out, like have to put on my face. The thing I'm honestly most interested in is like that liquid eyeshadow. I think that's real pretty. I might just go ahead, do my makeup off camera, put it on, and then I'll come back and just kind of show you guys just what it looks like on the face. Okay guys, so I actually had a wedding planning emergency, so I could not continue filming on this day and the day after, which is the day I'm saying this to you guys right now. I actually had to go to my tasting for my wedding, so I thought I would use the eyeshadow stick, at least the dual ended liquid shadow, to get ready to go to my tasting and unfortunately I just I did not like it nearly as much as I did on my hand. The matte shade was almost too light to really show up on my skin so it was hard to make like a full look out of it because I wanted to do like a smokier darker outer corner with a shinier like inner corner because I had seen a makeup look that I really liked for my wedding and I was like oh maybe I could make this work but unfortunately it just really didn't stand out like I wanted it to, it didn't shine or shimmer like I wanted it to, it kind of was just patchy and a little bit sticky. So maybe it was just me because I truly was rushing, like slapping on some makeup, but um, unfortunately it just, it didn't work out like I wanted it to. So sorry for ending the video so abruptly, but thank you guys so much for watching. And I do quickly want to announce the winner of the giveaway. The winner is Zozo Love. Thank you so much for commenting and watching. And thank you to everybody who entered and commented to win. That is all I have for you guys today. Thank you so very much for watching. Please go ahead and consider subscribing if you would not mind. It mean the absolute world to me. I just hope you guys have a lovely, wonderful, fantastic day and I'll see you all next time. Bye.